Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica, or you can call me Teacher Jessica. So for today's video, I am going to share to you about photosynthesis, and we are going to learn about photosynthesis. You can call me Teacher Jess. I'm a science teacher. So, are you, are you ready to learn? Okay, here we go. All right. So, for today, we are going to, to learn about the photosynthesis and what is this photosynthesis. But before that, um, we are going to discuss also the respiration, but for now, we will study first the photosynthesis. All right, photosynthesis and the respiration. So, we all know that the sun is the source of the energy. The sun, the sun is the radiant energy. So, photosynthesis happen in where? In plants and the photosynthesis produce the glucose where the plants use for them to survive all right and then here we go the respiration and the respiration break down the energy from the glucose to be used by the cell for the cell to survive all right okay it says here that organisms use light energy from the sun to produce the food and they are called autotrophs. Again, the organism that produce the food, they were called autotrophs. Auto means self. What are those examples? Examples are plants and some microorganisms such as the bacteria and some proteins. As you can see, we have here pictures of the plants and some microorganisms. They are autotrophs. Again, they are autotrophs. Good job. Now, the organisms that cannot use the sun's energy to make food, they are called heterotrophs. Again, Heterotrophs. Okay, they are heterotrophs. They cannot produce their own food. Examples, those are animals and most microorganisms. All right, human beings are also heterotrophs. Yes, you're right. Human beings are also heterotrophs. So here are the examples, the animals and some most microorganisms. Okay, question, what is photosynthesis? It says here that photosynthesis is the process by which the energy of sunlight is converted into the energy of glucose. All right, so sunlight is important. Yes, you are right. Okay, we have here the leaf or the leaves of the plant. Mm -hmm. The sunlight or the sun energy goes inside the plants. And then there are also carbon dioxide from the air goes inside the plants. And what will be the result? Oh, glucose or the sugar. This is the food? Yes, this is the food for the plants. And not only glucose, there is oxygen as a waste product. Oxygen is important? Yes, oxygen are very important for us to breathe. Good job. All right. Now, this is the chemical equation of the photosynthesis. We have CO2 or the carbon dioxide. Where does this carbon dioxide from or came from? From the air. And then 
plus the water and through the help of the sunlight or the light energy there will be the products that is called or we call glucose and there is a waste product oxygen okay carbon dioxide plus water are the ingredients in making in the process of photosynthesis and the products are glucose and the waste product is the oxygen for example we are going to eliminate this light energy there is still photosynthesis mm, i don't think so no photosynthesis will happen if there's no light energy okay now we are going to describe what is photosynthesis it is the process of changing the light energy to chemical energy uh -huh. sounds interesting from light energy to chemical energy and the energy stored as a sugar of course another one is it occurs in plants and some algae plant need light energy carbon dioxide and water and of course it takes place in the chloroplast using the chlorophyll which is the green pigment in plants by the way where can we find the chloroplast oh inside the plant cell there is a chloroplast there inside and the job of this chloroplast is to make the food of the plants and inside the chloroplast there is a chlorophyll oh what is the chlorophyll that is a green pigment in the plants that's why we see the color of the plants are green because there is a presence of there is a presence of the chlorophyll what is the color of the chlorophyll once again mm, it's color green you are right color green the chlorophyll okay now we will talk about this chlorophyll this is the pigment or the color inside the chloroplast that absorbs the light for photosynthesis okay which means during daytime there is light and this chlorophyll job is to absorb the light energy from where from the sunlight right you are right now there are some pigments not just only green but there are yellow there are orange there are red color that appears on the leaves of the plant example the maple leaves during autumn season the maple leaves turns into color yellow or even red as the leaves are decaying okay the color green turns into yellow orange and red let us know what are the names of these the yellow and the orange are called carotene pigment just like the carrots do you know the vegetable carrots do you like to eat carrots mm, there's a presence of carotene and how about the mango it's color yellow banana is also color yellow mm -hmm. how about papaya orange oh cantaloupe the same too all right how about the color red what are the examples 
of the vegetables that are color red? Tell me, tell me, come on. Quickly. All right. Apple. Apple has anthocyanins. What else? Mm, strawberry. Wow. How about beetroot? Oh, a lot of anthocyanins. Okay, those are the examples of the vegetables and fruits that has different pigments. It has a carotene, chlorophyll, and anthocyanin. And remember, remember, chlorophyll used in the photosynthesis. The color green used in the photosynthesis. Why the color of the leaves are green? What happened? Because the color green, the color green in the light prism is reflected back. So that's why it appears color green. And all the colors, the yellow, the green, the yellow, the red, the orange, and the other colors are absorbed. So that's why the color of the plants are green. Yes, correct. Okay. All right. So what happens during photosynthesis? The plants capture light energy and use that energy to make glucose. The glucose is the food for the plants. Sunlight provides the energy needed by the chlorophyll to change the molecules of carbon dioxide and water into glucose. Okay, let's see what happened. As you can see, we have here the sun, the sunlight. So there is a light energy that have been absorbed by these leaves. These leaves. And the color of the leaves is color green. We are in the presence of the chlorophyll. The chlorophyll is the one who captures the light energy. And where can we find this chlorophyll? This chlorophyll can be found inside this chloroplast. This chloroplast is an organelle in the plant cell that is responsible for photosynthesis. Okay, so the photosynthesis is also happen, okay, in the spongy mesophyll cell spongy mesophyll cells all right now this is the stomata okay the stomata is just like a window the window of the leaves okay there is an opening over here okay there's an opening over here this is uh, the stomata wherein the carbon dioxide enters. Okay, the carbon dioxide is from the air, diffuse, going to the stomata, and then goes directly to the chloroplast. And then, how about the water? Where does this water came from? The water enter the roots through the xylem. The xylem is the xylem is the tube that is responsible to carry the water from the roots to the different parts of the plant. All right. So as the photosynthesis happened and there is a process, the glucose is the product during the photosynthesis and there is a waste product which is the oxygen and the oxygen will going to diffuse 
going outside of the stomata and the oxygen used for for breathing okay now here is the equation for photosynthesis we have here six carbon dioxide the six water plus the light energy from the sunlight and the product is glucose C6H12NO6 and there is the waste product 6 oxygen so this is the equation for the photosynthesis of the plants I hope you learned something. Thank you so much for your time. Please subscribe. Thank you and goodbye everyone.